here we're going to look at translating the graph of an exponential function. So exponential meaning the exponent is the thing we don't know. So this is 1 fourth to the x. So x is the exponent. This is what an exponential function looks like or this specific one looks like. And so just like when we did translations on other types of graphs, all we have to look at is what's being done inside the function. What if are we doing anything to x? If we do something to x, picture that moves the function left and right since x measures left and right. And then if we add something out here after the fact, notice how that adds one to the output. It changes y, so that moves it up and down. And then the only thing I try to remember is that with x, it's kind of counterintuitive. Adding moves to the left and subtracting moves to the right, which we've seen in the other translating things. You're compensating. You have to make all your x's too smaller to get the same outputs. So when I look at this plus 2, this moves it to the left 2. And this, because it changes y, moves it up 1. So I would count things from this reference point because you have at least 0, 1 is one nice even point where a lot of these are 1 fourth or 1 half or fractional. So we'll grab this and we know it's going to the left, oops, going to the left 2 and up 1. So I'll grab it, left 2 and up 1. And I'll also double check. So if I go to the left 2, I should be at negative 2. If I go up 1, I should start at 1, I should be at 2.